Are you sitting down? Chances are good that you are because for over half a century, remote controls have made it possible to adjust your TV without getting out of your chair. In the 1950s, Zenith introduced the Lazy Bones. It was the first remote. Unfortunately, it was also still connected to the TV. Having a cord stretched across your living room turned out to be a little impractical. So in 1955, Zenith tried again with the Flashmatic. This remote flashed light beams at different receivers around the TV screen. The technology worked, but viewers couldn't remember which side of the screen did what, and the light from the sun could occasionally change the channel. Finally, in 1956, they landed on the technology that became the standard for remotes until the 1980s, ultrasonic sound. Sound waves out of the range of human hearing were sent to a receiver in the TV to adjust the channels, power and mute. It was called Space Command. Today's remote controls use infrared technology. A microprocessor in the remote creates a signal and that signal is flashed from a diode at the end of the remote. The signals of light are invisible to the human eye and are picked up and interpreted by the receiver in your TV, VCR, or whatever the case may be. In the year 2000, 99% of all TV sets in the US were sold with remote controls. So don't change that dial because you don't have it anymore.